This is 7 National News. In our top story this evening, UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, chaired the UAE Cabinet meeting today at the Presidential Palace in Abu Dhabi. The meeting was held with the attendance of Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Presidential Affairs, Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan. And under the patronage and in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Nahyan Mubarak Al Nahyan, UAE Minister of Higher Education and Scientific Research, INSEAD hosted their second Middle East Leadership Summit in Abu Dhabi today. Guest of honour, His Highness Sheikh Nahyan delivered the keynote speech on the qualities a leader should possess in order to be successful in their field of practice, quoting that leaders do not command excellence, they build excellence. His Highness addressed the importance of focusing on the region's long-term aspirations of the rapidly changing social, economical and organisational spheres. A country that uh, epitomises transformation and more specific, you have assembled in Abu Dhabi with the uh, wisdom, practical competence and integrity of our nation leaders are tested on a daily basis. Business Institute in Siad held the summit under the title The Challenge of Transformation, a Test of Leadership, attributed to INSEAD's vision in developing Abu Dhabi into an education hub and building a knowledge-based economy. The event was attended by prominent scholars, government officials, politicians and business leaders, all with the same vision for Abu Dhabi 2030. We got interested very much in the Middle East and uh, we came, the dean at the time came to here, uh, visited, and we thought that uh, there was a good opportunity to create a third leg, as I said this morning, a third leg in Assisi. What we think that in a few years we'll have a much larger campus, we'll have part of our MBA done here, we will have developed more executive education courses or programs, uh, we will have expanded the uh, executive MBA and uh, we will have grown the faculty. We see Abu Dhabi as our early years in France, our early years in Singapore. We expect this project obviously to keep growing and at some point to be as successful and large as the other campus. We all work for a business and businesses are fundamental to all our economies and I doubt that will go away. In an effort to contribute to the Emirates' blood supply, the Dubai Health Authority organised a blood donation drive at their headquarters today. DHA senior officials and employees donated blood this morning. His Excellency Khaled Al-Sheikh Mubarak, Deputy General, Director General rather, of the DHA, is a regular donor himself. And according to him, blood donation is a practice that must be encouraged among all residents. In addition to its health benefits for the donor, he said it will provide the much-needed aid for those in need. In the UAE, there is a high demand on the blood reserves with 45% being used for thalassemia patients while the rest is used for traffic accident victims, cancer patients, mothers with pregnancy complications, trauma and burn victims as well as other emergency cases. The donation we are we are seeking for everybody in, in the UAE who is in, especially in Dubai to uh, we approach them to uh, be donate for this time which is, is an important uh, we believe that is uh, day to day it is it is required the requirement it is it is increasing and we try to tackle that issues because we are covering the the government sectors and us as well as the private sectors I think it is you know healthy and also. Uh you know, for the need people, you have to give blood, you know, for thalassemia patient or for a blood patient. But it's important I mean, for us to give blood for them, you know. Under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and Ruler of Dubai, Dubai will be the venue for the World Energy Forum 2012, which will be organised for the first time outside the headquarters of the United Nations in New York. Under the theme of a forum for world leaders, the event will take place from the 22nd to the 24th of October this year at the Dubai International Convention Centre. Dubai was selected to host this event after fierce competition from other international venues 
western cities, according to a press release quoting the Supreme Council of Energy. However, Dubai was chosen as the venue for its geographic and strategic location, in addition to the city being a global hub for finance, business trade and tourism. Over 15 heads of state, 40 energy ministers and more than 200 CEOs from international companies are expected at the event. Public transport users, which include Dubai Taxi, have increased by 14.5 million in 2011, as revealed by the latest statistics from the Roads and Transport Authority. According to a local paper, there were more than 346.5 million public transport users in 2011, a positive leap from 332 million in 2010. These statistics are not only from Dubai Taxi, but also commuters on the Dubai Metro, public buses and marine transport. Commenting on the statistics, Chairman of the Board, and executive director of the RTA, Matar al Tayyar, said that the increase in numbers is a reflection of the successful implementation of RTA's strategic plan to enhance public transport use by 30% by 2030. He added that the large investments injected by the Dubai government for the infrastructure of transport have proved both successful and effective. Up next, we have the day's business news for you, so stay with us.